prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we face our Father who loves all his children. In this covenant of love, we place our faith and trust. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, This day the Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful then to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today, you are making this agreement with the Lord. 
He is to be your God, and you are to walk in His ways, and observe His statutes, commandments, and decrees, and to hearken to His voice. And today, the Lord is making this agreement with you. You are to be a people peculiarly His own, as He promised you, and provided you keep all His commandments, He will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all other nations He has made. And you will be a people sacred to the Lord, your God, as He promised. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I will give you thanks with an upright heart when I have learned your just ordinances. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand. Ngayoy panahong malapad, panahon ng pagliligtas, araw ngayon ng pagtawag, upang nakamit ang hapag ng Panginoong matapad. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. As we continue our preparations this season of Lent, reminding ourselves of the goodness of our Lord, especially as He enters His passion, death, and resurrection, we are reminded today that all of the actions of our Lord Jesus is based on the covenant. God's covenant 
with His people. Sa araw po na ito ay maririnig natin sa ating mga pagbasa ang tungkol sa pakikipagtipan ng Diyos. Pakikipagkasunduan ng Diyos sa tao. In our first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, we hear about this covenant, this relationship with God and His people. But we are reminded that this covenant is not just based on the duties of people, on what they are to do, but the covenant is based on who they are, on the identity of people, the identity of God. Ang pakikipagkasunduan ng Diyos sa tao ay hindi lamang nakabatay sa kung ano ang gagawin nila. Nakabatay ito kung sino sila sa isa't isa. Kasi kapag ang isang kasunduan ay nakabatay lamang sa kung ano ang gagawin, hindi yan covenant, isa yang transaksyon. Pero ang covenant ng Panginoon ay nakabatay sa kung sino tayo sa isa't isa. That is why in our first reading, we see that the covenant made between people and God is formulated this way. According to Moses, He will be your God and you will become His people. The covenant is not just based on what we are going to do, but who we are in the eyes of God. You will be my people. You will become God's people. And God will be the God of Israel. The covenant is based not on duty, but on identity. Siguro po merong mga mag-asawa dito. O kaya mga, di ko alam kung mag-asawa o nagliligawan pa lang. The covenant between a husband and a wife is not based on duty. Not based on what you do, but based on who you are to each other. Kaya hindi pwedeng sabihin ng asawa mo na kapag hindi mo ako binilhan ng Louis Vuitton bag, ay hindi na kita mamakalin. <laughs> hindi yan ang covenant. Ang covenant ay nakabatay sa kung sino tayo sa isa't isa. Mamahalin kita sapagkat ikaw ay pinili kong katipan maging asawa maging mahal ng aking buhay. That is why in our gospel reading today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was able to say to love your enemy. Because for Jesus, love is not based on what people do, but on who people are. That is how God loves us. God's love is based not on what we have done for Him, but on who we are to Him. Minamakal tayo ng Diyos, hindi lamang dahil sa kung ano ang ginawa natin para sa Kanya, kundi mahal tayo ng Diyos, nakabatay kung sino tayo, para sa Kanya. That is why in the Gospel, Jesus tells us, the Heavenly Father 
makes the sun rise on the bad and the good. He makes the rain fall on the just and the unjust. The Heavenly Father loves you, not because of what you have done, but because of who you are to Him. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the covenant of God with His people, that He loves us because of who we are. And if we are going to fulfill this covenant, it is not just about doing something for God, but it is about imitating and becoming like God. Kung tutuparin natin ang pakikipagtipan natin sa Diyos, hindi lamang ito tungkol sa may gagawin tayo para sa Kanya, kundi ang sabi ni Jesus, Be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Fulfilling the covenant is not just doing something for God, but becoming like God. Kung tutuparin natin ng tipan, ay hindi lamang tayo gagawa para sa Diyos, kundi tutulad din tayo sa Kanya. I remember when we were seminarians, during ordinations, we sing a particular communion song during ordination of priests. The title of the song is, Let Them See Christ in Me. Makita nawa si Jesus sa akin. Reminding priests that they are ordained not just to do something for God, but we become priests to be like Jesus. Hindi lamang po inoordinahan ng pare para kumilos at gumawa para sa Dios, kundi para rin tumulad sa Dios. The song tells us, the beautiful song tells us, let me be his eyes of compassion. Let me become his ears to hear the needs of the poor. Let me become his heart of boundless love. My dear brothers and sisters, in the covenant, we do not just do something for God. But we become like God. We imitate Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this day, as we reflect on the reality of God's covenant to us, let us remember that this covenant is not just based on duty. It is based on identity. And we can do more for God if we become like God. Mas marami tayong magagawa para sa Diyos kapag tayo ay tumulad sa Diyos. That is covenant. Not just about duty, but about identity. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded that God's love, God's covenant for us, is not just based on what we have done for Him, but because of who we are to Him. Amen. Please all stand. <clears throat> With confidence, we now approach the all-forgiving Father whose mercy towards us is limitless and without bounds. For every petition, let us say, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, that the church on earth, may be a living example of the forgiveness and compassion shown by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with kindness even upon those who have hurt us, injured us, or caused us hardship in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with God's grace, we may be able to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be blessed and rewarded with eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and compassionate Father, we thank you for the forgiveness you have offered through your Son. Help us to show your forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gift they bestow through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. <coughs>
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those you refresh with this divine mystery and accompany with salutary consolations those you have imbued with heavenly teaching. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen your faithful, O God, so that, never straying from your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Christ, Panginoon.